walking through the streets of a northern Italian town. It's a beautiful day. The streets are all in marble because the quarries are nearby, so we as well use the natural stones that are here. The weather is just about 70s, low 70s. So this morning, my third day of doing cold showers. I have done cold showers before, but I've never done it in a continuous manner, just here and there. And on my own, I discovered an easy way to ease into cold showers. And it doesn't even hurt at all. I have been able to just not even shiver, not even hyperventilate, or having to breathe hard, feel my adrenaline turn on which might be good or not good, you know, depends, you know, if I've heard that, you know, your know, body's ability to turn on adrenaline, sometimes it helps heals or the door is inflammatory, there's responses, but very, very simple. I start at my feet, of course, cold water splashing from the shower. I'm staying at a hotel which doesn't have a bathtub which is fine because I do have an aversion towards bathtub so it's not my own private one in particular. Making sure that we don't cross the street right there. So, people jaywalk here. We do have sort of right away and it's sort of, it's still red, but I am looking. Even some locals are stopping for the red light. I start splashing water on my feet and it's so cold here in the morning. I would say it's in the 50s and I'm sure the water is even colder than that. Um, so I start splashing at my ankles and then going up to my calves. I'm just letting the cold water just splash on my skin till it feel, feels numb and when there's no more pain I move up to the next area to my knees to my thighs and just splash the cold water over me until my skin gets numb it's not cold enough that I feel you know, piercing, sharp needles. I've heard people say that, and obviously, I, I think I've felt that in the past, though I've never really jumped into super cold water. It's just so lovely. Everything is just so ancient, thousands of years old. Of course, the Romans were here thousand years ago in Italy, you can still see a lot of the impressions, the historical buildings, the aquifer that, I should say aquifer, <laughs> aquifer that. I don't know whether they're drawing the water from aquifers it might be from just springs or rivers and transporting them to where it needs to go so i keep on working myself upwards and hitting my belly it is cold of course i feel it when it first hits Just pull five inches up at a time, the spot, and turn around. Let's see what this is. And my skin is getting totally numb, so I don't feel cold. And I, I'm not shivering. I'm moving up my top. Top of my back. 
I do go over my arms. Around the time I get to my belly, my belly, I'm putting the water over my arms and then tucks over my shoulders. I'm just letting it numb up so I don't feel any pain. It comes to a point sometimes where you know, like if you submerge your hand or any part of your skin into cold, cold water. You start feeling it could be it could be like pain from hot if you thought about it. You can't differentiate hot and cold. So the body's giving up the same warnings. But you get to a place where it is numb and it doesn't hurt. At this point I've been slowly working up the shower head over my body and I'd say it's gonna be like five minutes and I say I work I stay on each spot for about a minute or so and letting the skin really become cold to the touch and I work myself up and then by the time I get to my neck and I wash my face I am not shivering at this point. I'm not screaming. I have no need to scream. And it feels okay. And a lot of people finish off with turning to hot water and just rinsing off with hot water. This morning, I had no need of that. And the pleasurable part is when I open the shower door, I did not feel cold because my skin was already colder than the outside air. And um, just wrapping my towel around me, drying myself off. It was really nice. I didn't have to be like jumping around, you know, coming out from a hot shower and feeling the cold air outside the shower stall. And I think the whole thing probably took about 15 minutes. So instead of the two minute minimum that people try to get, you know, when they take their cold showers, it's not all together, of course, 15 minutes for my whole body, but absolutely every part has been showered and has been sprayed with cold water for two minutes or more so I'm really doing this of course because I have hopes of getting the benefits of cold exposure I just love the Italians the weights the weight staff is so much friendlier than the Parisians I can't compare to the French people in the countryside I've heard that they're so much nicer, less rude. And I have been rude to by some waitress in a restaurant in Paris. I try to go every other year to Paris and London every year. This year, I haven't been to London yet, but it's still early. I'm moving to Lisbon and I'm going to be living in Lisbon for a whole month of April. I can't wait to visit Portugal. I've never been there. I've just mainly done the same cities around in Paris. Barcelona. A nice change. Of course, I'm going to Portugal because everybody says it's such a wonderful place, country, affordable health care. Of course, rents are going up because we have all these expats, and they just say that they're going to take away the golden visa. So we'll see. So there it is: the benefits of cold exposure. 
and how I'm easing into it. I hope to do this for the rest of my life and definitely try to benefit from this, I would say therapy. Mm, I'm just so pleased with myself because it is beautiful. I've done it where I turn on the shower and jump, you know, and just expose my whole body to the cold water all at once. It's not pleasant. I mean, like, screaming a little bit. Very warm. I'm gonna take a front jump right when I was walking around. After I'd taken my full shower, I did not put on the thicker layer like I normally would as I'm about to leave the hotel. I'm Chinese tourist.